part one of how to use Bespoke Synth in order to leverage your VST library, or how to make Dark Fifth style bespoke patches. First, update your VSTs. First, you click VST plugins. Then you click Manage VSTs. Then you click Options. Scan for new plugins. Then you give it folders to scan from. These are some basic folders that you might find things in where often things are installed. Scan. Now you have a bunch of plugins. We're going to put in this ample percussion cloud drone because you can get it for free. <clears throat> There's a link down there for you if you want it. You can just hold down the letter A and it'll make a menu pop up. And then you can click and drag your thing wherever you want to put it. Bam. The ample percussion cloud drum. So now we have an instrument that'll play. Next, we're going to want to control this cloud drum somehow in order to make it make noises. So we're going to add a really basic thing. We're going to hold down N and we're going to go to note sequencer down here. We're going to slap the note sequencer in. Now we're going to tell the note sequencer to make this thingy majiggy make noises by dragging a line over to it. Then we're going to tell this thingy to send its noises over to this gain here. This gain control, it's the way out to your output, whatever you have your output set to. You can change your output by clicking settings and going over here. Move the octave up. Okay, so now we want to be able to make this thing make random noises. So in order to make random noises, we have to use these controls here. I shouldn't drag this out yet. Okay. If we want to randomize the sounds that are coming out of this, we got to use these controls. We can change the pitch. We change the length by clicking this button here. We can change the velocity. And the velocity will also populate all of these channels. So different different times you click this, every time you click one of these, you're going to get a new result. Okay, so to run through, you're going to put in your instrument here. You can throw in a note sequencer, bam. And whenever you click these buttons, it's going to randomly generate notes in there. You can draw notes in as well, if you really want to. Okay, now we got to make this note sequencer do stuff. We're going to hold down C, control sequencer, boom. What the control sequencer does is it sequences controls. How many controls do I want to sequence right now? Well, I'm going to control sequence three controls. So now that I have my control sequencer in, I'm going to hold down alt and then I'm going to click and drag my control sequencer down and click and drag another control sequencer over here. Now i got three control sequencers. And then I'm going to connect one to the pitch. When you click on this little guy here, it's going to highlight everything you can connect to. We're going to connect to the pitch. We're going to connect to the length. We're going to connect to the velocity. And now those three buttons we can trigger whenever we like. And we're going to have them all trigger. Let's see, we're going to have the velocity change right at the beginning of the measure. We have 16 notes and it's going to go through a measure here just because we have 16 of 16 notes. Anyways, so we're going to trigger it here at the beginning and then maybe we'll do some other changes throughout uh, the song here. I'll do another little change up right there. And um, I'm actually going to change these from 16th notes to quarter note so that the changes happen a little slower than the pattern is happening here. Okay, let's listen. Okay, now we have it doing a little thing. That's awesome. Okay, now we have a thing which is being played by some control sequencers. And that is the, the gist. That is, once you have those tools, you can do all kinds of cool stuff. 
Now, what are some other things that we could control in order to make this different or to add some variety? Okay, and that is some of the basics, the absolute basics of how to do a Dark Fifth style uh, VST leveraging. And uh, subscribe if you want to see the next video in the series of how to do it with a little bit more depth.